How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel Take and Make. I'm glad you're here. So one of my last videos I restored Deba knife and that video did very good on YouTube and still doing. So in case you guys haven't seen the Deba knife restoration, I'm gonna leave you a link in the description as well as this card gonna pop up on the screen right here. Boop. Mm. So you can go ahead and check it out. Anyway, I bought on eBay an old Nakiri Japanese knife. So let's go ahead, open up this package and check it out. Check this out. Yeah, baby. This is vegetable knife. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Yeah, this is dull and so thin. I was hoping it's gonna be a little bit thicker than that. Can't really tell that from the pictures. Okay, so to begin with, we're gonna detach this old handle. There you go. Garbage. Okay, so before I gonna clean it with electrolysis, let's just wash it in water to remove surface rust and dirt. We cleaned some of it. There's still a lot more. Let's get our electrolysis set up ready and give this guy a little bit of current. Alright, so reaction been going for a little over an hour now. The solution is pretty rusty. So let's take a look, pull it out and clean it nicely. So as you see, rust is almost gone except couple little spots like this one and on this side since there's still some rust on a knife I gonna electrolyze it one more time one hour later all right gents that's how it's looking after second set in electrolysis cleaning the rust and it's looking pretty. Let's get our sandpaper out and start using some elbow grease. So guys, here is the update. I tried sanding it. Those dents and marks, they kind of deep. And if I keep sanding it, I'm going to be left with nothing. This thing is only, it's just 2.1 millimeter. 
or whatever it is in inches I'm gonna put it somewhere on the screen and the tip of it is even thinner it's like nothing man one millimeter that's crazy so anyway what can we do pretty much nothing like I'm going to leave this blade like it is maybe work on the spine a little bit and file it right here so we're gonna get a nice clean fit into our future handle but we're gonna leave it finished like that just gonna sharpen it it looks almost like it was acid rock wash finish kinda eh? Nice looking spine, nice looking spine, nice 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 looking spine. All right, we'll, we're pretty much done with our blade. The only thing which left is to sharpen it, but I'm gonna leave it for the end. So at this point we can tape our knife up and start working on our handle design. All right, so what design do I have in mind? Main handle part, I'm gonna use a piece of this elk antler and also for spacers, the bolster and stuff like this. This is my first aid kit guys. All the stuff for handles. <laughs> Liners, pins, ebony. Okay so first thing first let's try to cut a piece of that elk antler the only thing that it isn't square no bueno and I have to cut it again I can't say it smells nice guys. Okay, let's try to flatten this out using a file. Okay, I think it's flat enough for what I need. Very good actually. Okay, let's fix the other side. I am begging on my knees, send me a jar of elbow grease. That's a lot of handwork, jeez. I am not sure I'll get through this. Help me out, save me please. I am done, I need a breath. Okay, this one looking pretty good too. It's definitely pretty close to what I expected. So, the idea. We install this sandwich like so, then a piece of ebony 
maybe two. And on the back side we'll go with same liner and to extend this handle a little more I want to add a piece of this zebra wood. Or do I? Maybe I don't. Okay, this is some food for thought. We're gonna start with gluing this sandwich up. I'm gonna try to cut this all together one shot. Alright, so together with our liners we're gonna cut this ebony and two of those we're gonna use for front and one in the back and that's gonna be it I think. That handle will be gonna be a little shorter than the original one but it'll still do. Size doesn't matter after all. Bah ha 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 ha. That's what he thinks. Anyway, let's cut this ebony. Her Majesty Huxo. Her Majesty Huxo. Jesus, man, this ebony wood is super dense. Wow. One more. gonna start with our sandwich. I don't normally use gloves but I guess I will go get a pair for this process. Did you guys buy it? <laughs> of course I want. Gloves. Who needs gloves? So we can start by cutting this G10 sandwich in half. That's approximately how it's gonna look after we apply oil on it. I like it. This looks nice too. Anyway, just for insurance sake, we'll install two rods like this and then they will go through the liner and also will go in in that block. So I'm gonna draw a contour and this is gonna be inside. Pentium inside, almost. Now we're gonna mark those holes. One is right here, the other one right there. Alright, let's set up our drill. Man, I screwed up. This permanent marker is a complete disaster. Do not repeat my mistake. Look how deep it penetrates the antler. That's crazy. I tried 
varsol to clean this up and it's not doing the job and then I just grab the file and start cleaning it man that stuff goes deep in it uh, well lesson learned the hard way project just got extended that's life Ooh, ooh. Mm. Never again. I love doing things twice. And I would like to thank today's sponsor of this video, my personal bank account. My personal bank account. Thank you so much. Without you, I wouldn't do a thing. Alright, those two parts are ready, let's work on the rest of our components and drill holes through these guys. And this one going to play is our bolster, so we're gonna have to drill a couple tiny holes here on the center line and work with little needle file so our tank could sit perfectly here. Okay, let's get to work. Oh my god. I got no words. Well, let's try to fix it. We're gonna glue this little chip back on this piece Let's drill a hole in this winder. Ah! Man, this big bit is f***ing everything up. Why can't it go smooth? Always something. Now look, this top layer too started to separate him. Gonna have to re-glue this. I really hope that when I get drill press, things are gonna get way better. Cause this just pisses me off. Mm -hmm. 